Here's a question that I get asked a lot at Big Baby Small Space. I live in a small apartment and have an even smaller bedroom. If I want my baby to sleep in my room, should I get a bassinet? In short, no, you don't. If you get a bassinet for just a bassinet, it's a waste of time and money. A newborn will last tops four months in a bassinet. Then it will be transitioning them to a new bed, which can be a headache. Babies like routines, so what are your options, especially for nighttime feedings? Bigger than a bassinet, the Arms Reach Mini Co Sleeper attaches to your bed with one side down. Great for nighttime bottle or breastfeeding. If you decide co sleeping is not for you, turn it into a four sided sleeper. On Wheels makes it perfect to move in small spaces. Another option is a mini crib. Depending on how fast your baby grows, the Bloom Alma mini crib could last you for over a year. That's a lot longer than a bassinet. Made especially for small spaces, you can take your baby from your bedroom to the kitchen, and when your baby is ready, to his room. And yet I hear so often, my baby is so tiny, I can't imagine putting her in anything larger than a cradle. If you're set on one, go for one that's multifunctional and can easily go through a standard doorway like Contours Classique 3-in-1 Bassinet. If you really, really want a bassinet, then open your eyes wide to the price tag of a Stokey Sleepy System. After you get over the shock, you will thank the lucky stars. Stokey Sleepy takes you from bassinet to crib to toddler bed. In the long run, this small space saver investment will be worth it. Hold on, here's a total out-of-the-box idea. You'll need a stroller, right? Then what about using the stroller system with a bassinet like Upa Baby Vista? You can use your stroller outside and inside, and they even sell a separate bassinet stand that's foldable and takes up little if no space at all. That is, if you don't want a stroller in your bedroom. For more space-saving ideas on how to fit all your baby stuff into a small space, check out BigBabySmallSpace.com, where we are into having our kids be big in our lives but not in our small space. So what do you think? Bassinet or no bassinet? We'd love to hear from you. Like us and comment below. Thanks.